What's up guys, Kovo here today, and today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft Java Edition onto a Chromebook. Yes, this is the same Minecraft Java Edition that works on Windows and Mac. You can play on all the servers. It's all there, guys. But um, before we get into this, we're going to need a couple of things. First off, you're going to need to look on your laptop for an Intel sticker. And it's basically, it's just going to let you know what processor you have. You had to have an Intel processor. If you already know that, you're good to go. But if you don't, most likely there's a sticker, usually on the inside of your laptop. And as long as it says Intel on it, you're pretty much good to go. But that out of the way, you also need to figure out if you have 4 gigs of RAM or higher. How you're going to have to do is you're going to have to Google your Chromebook's model number. And if it's true, then you're good enough to go on the next step. Now, also, by the way, my Chrome OS is going to look a little bit different because I'm actually running Cloud Ready OS, but it's just a build of it. It's the same thing in the same steps are going to be applied. Now, second off, I mean, or third off, once you figure out those two things and they're correct, you need to go to your settings and then you need to go and search Linux. And if you see something like this, you're good to go. If you do not see something like that, it might be down here or just click on apps and then you need to find Linux development environment beta and you want to turn that on it's going to say next and then you can pick a username it does not really matter I'm going to blur mine out and the recommended 7.5 gigabytes is just gonna be alright it might be different for you make sure it's over um, 5 gigabytes though if it's not just go to custom and change it if you do not have enough storage, you need to delete some stuff because Minecraft is kind of big. And click install. It's going to take a couple of minutes. While that is working, we can minimize this and we can go over here. And while, so while that's working, we need to um, find a couple of things. So these are going to be linked in the description. It's just going to be Chrome slash flags and we need to enable a couple of things. The first one we need to enable is cross any GPU support. This is going to enable GPU acceleration on Linux apps because Minecraft Java is a Linux application and that's why we needed that thing and that we turned on the settings. We need to enable this. This is graphical acceleration. If we do not have this, it's just going to be really laggy and slow. And also, by the way, depending on which Chromebooks you have, guys, it's it might not work that well. It might work really well. It depends on how expensive and powerful yours is. If it's really slow and laggy anyways, it's probably not going to work. And also, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, once we have this one enabled, do not click restart because we have to wait for that other thing in the background. And we also need to enable one other one. The second one is called pointer lock for Linux applications. We need to make sure that this is enabled. If it's enabled, that's good. This is so um, we can go. So that means that if we, our mouse gets to the other screen, it'll still, the camera will still move. All right. Now, with that out of the way, let's wait for this to finish. And it's just finished. So, basically, guys, when this happens, when you see this little thing, just close it and you're good to go. Now, what we can do is we can click Restart. Okay, guys, so after that, your Chromebook might black out for just a second. Don't worry, that's just your Chromebook restarting. Now, what we can do is, for me... This is all going to be linked down in the description, but you need to go back to your GPU, um, back to those two links, so back to the GPU one, and if I can find it again, uh, where is it? It's right here, and we look for lock. These need to be enabled, and if they say enabled, that is good. And also on one of them, on the GPU support, it might just say both of them are enabled. If it looks like this, you're good to go. If it doesn't, if it only shows one, go to the other one, and then it'll be good to go. If this looks all good, we're good to go for the next step. All right. If we go, so for me, this is also going to be back in the description. We're going to search up download Minecraft. It's going to be Minecraft.net slash en slash dash us dot down. This this en slash us. That's just the language in the country. If you do not live in that country, just change that to um to whatever your language is and stuff. Or just or you can what you can just do is you can get rid of this like that and yeah so make sure you have the slash and then it'll just redirect you to whatever your browser says all right but anyways once you get to this page it'll say already on minecraft download again so for this to work guys you're going to need a minecraft java license it's 30 bucks you need it for 
it, it it's going to be that same one that you need for Linux. I mean, not yeah, Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. If you already have one that works on, it works on all three platforms. So if you already have one, just use that. You do not need to be logged in to download it. You just need to be logged in to play it. And um, yeah. But if you have that, then you need it'll say download for Windows. Do not click this one. That is not going to work because we are on Chrome OS. Now, it's going to say need a different flavor. What we can do is we need to scroll all the way down to Linux distributions right here. And we need to click the first one, Debian and Debian based solution. I mean, based distributions. Click on that one. It's going to download this for me. I already have one downloaded, but um, it doesn't matter too much. Now, do not click show in folder. What we want to click is we want to search for files. This one right here. Click on it. And just to make sure I have nothing in there. All right. So okay. So once we're here, we can click on downloads. And you're going to take your minecraft.deb, I already have this one, I'm going to use this one, you're going to drag it, and sometimes it doesn't want to drag, but you're going to drag it in to your um, Linux files, which is a new thing that you should get. So what I can do is I can do cut, and I can do paste. So yeah, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, basically what you have to do is you have to copy it, and you have to paste it. It sometimes doesn't want to work though. So what I like to do is I just like to drag it. And if it doesn't want to drag, what I just do is what you can also just do is you can just um, right click on it and click install for Linux. And it doesn't really matter if you get into the Linux files. It's just recommended if you can. So basically I'm going to do install with Linux. It's going to bring up all the stuff. Click install. Click OK. It's going to install in the background. So that is good. You're going to have to give it a second. It's, yeah. So make sure, you guys, you do have it in your Linux files, though. For some reason, it wasn't copying for me. If that doesn't happen, don't worry. But, um, yeah, make sure you do get in there, though. I don't know why it's not been doing it, though. Like, I think it's just because I'm using Cloud Ready. But it doesn't really matter. As long as it installs, that's good. So now we can just close this. And do not click Launch. I'm going to click X for now. And also, I'm going to close my browser because we do not need it anymore. Now, you might see it right there, Minecraft Launcher. But to make sure that we do get it pinned, see it's in the Linux apps, you're going to get this new one called Linux apps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it to my shelf. So basically now, it's going to look like this because it's a Linux application, but now I should just be able to click on it. And for now, it's going to, it may glitch out for you, but it's just saying updating Minecraft Launcher. And this happens on Windows as well. This is not anything new. It always does this. It's usually when you first install Minecraft or you haven't used it for a while. And then you're going to get to this page. And now we can full screen it. And you might think, hey, we got Minecraft installed. Well, not necessarily yet. Now we have to log in. This is where you needed a license. So basically, if you've already played Minecraft before, most likely you're on a Java account or a Mojang account. If you just got one, you're going to be using a Microsoft account. And eventually everyone's going to be on the Microsoft login. But see, they haven't um, migrated accounts yet. But that doesn't really matter. You just want to log in, which I'm going to do. So just let me do that real quick. It takes a sec. And yeah. But uh, yeah, so Minecraft, guys, it's actually really fun. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have played it before. Oh yeah, you can... So once you get logged in, it's going to look like this. And we can basically, we can pick our release. So I'm going to pick installations real quick. And you don't have to do this. This is just what I like to do. And I can click new installation. And I'm just going to do 1.8. And I can pick any version of the game I want to pick. I'm going to do 1.8.9 because that's what Hypixel is on. And we can go down to more options. And we can pick how much RAM we give the game. So I recommend doing this when you create a new installation. So XMX2G, well that's how much RAM we're going to give it. Depending on how much RAM you have in your system is how much you're going to give it. If you have 4, I would recommend giving it like 1. I have 8, so I'm going to give it 2. Give it a fourth of what your whole th um, system has. Alright, so with that out of the way, we're going to go back here, click on 1.8, click play. Is since it's an older version of Minecraft, all the new uh, 
stupid regulation things aren't going to work. That doesn't really matter. And now the game is going to download. Now, this takes a second depending on your internet. It's depending on what version of the game it is. It's going to be a couple hundred megs. For me, it's going to go pretty fast because I have a really good connection. But if you do not, don't worry. It's just let it sit. Once you do that, it should be good to go. So, um, yeah, it's just going to take a sec. So, while we're doing that, we can what we can do is we can go back to our browser. And we can search up Minecraft servers that we want to play. I, I will search up the Hypixel IP, which I think most people are going to want. And basically, here it is right here. I already knew this, but just basically, if you want to get a um, Minecraft server's IP, just search it. And uh, if you want to find some other ones, Minecraft servers, I think, yeah, I think minecraftservers.com is a good place to go, I believe. Like I said, guys, I haven't done this in a while, but, um, oh, yeah. So, also, so this is how you get there, and, it, um, yeah, you have tons of Minecraft servers. Once that game is done installing, you can, it'll launch, and congratulations, guys. Now you have, um, Minecraft Java on a, um, Chromebook. But there's a couple things I think you want to change first. First, go into your options, and then your video settings. And don't worry, if there's no audio, it's because I have my volume off, but it will work the volume. Put the frame rate on 60 FPS the max, and put the chunk down to at least 5, and put it lower if it's still lagging. I will turn your graphics on fast, and turn the smooth lighting off. I would make sure that the clouds are off. And, uh, yeah. The other thing that we can do is we can try to put in full screen mode. So if we put in full screen mode like that, which I don't not know why it's not working like it. Yeah, so sometimes, I think it's because we're recording, but the, these bars will go away. So, yeah, it'll work. And, yeah, the volume is working currently. So now we can get on a server. We click Add Server. And I'm just going to do Hypixel because that's the one that we were looking at. It's mc.hypixel.net. Congratulations. It's going to ping. It'll look like this. And uh, yeah, now we're in. So this is it. It's going to lag for a second because it's loading everything in. But uh, yeah, see see how it's um working? Alright, so let's just fly around for a little bit. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want everything to load correctly. On a Chromebook, it's going to be a tad bit more laggier than usual. Because on a Chromebook, it's they're just usually not as powerful. So don't be disappointed if the frames and stuff do, do not work. That's just an unfortunate part of it. And the reason why um, we had that pointer lock on the first place, guys, is if you were wondering, is now we can rotate all the way around. And the reason why that wasn't working before is because it thought that, oh, if we hit the um, border of the screen with the mouse, it's just not going to work. But you guys don't really need to know about that. That's just for the people that were wondering. So you see how it's kind of lagging a bit? Well, we can do some stuff. So we're going to go down the video settings, and we're going to put the render distance on 2. And we're just going to make sure anything else... Also, I would turn your brightness up all the way. But, yeah. But, um, basically, you just need to, you need to tweak your settings and see how it's a little bit more playable. Like I said, guys, it's not going to be as playable as other things. Um, but, yeah, it's the full version. We're going to get into Hypixel here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to play Bed Wars. I haven't played it in forever. It is playable though, guys. I mean, it's not that playable, but it's very playable. It also depends what you're doing. But, uh, yeah. And you can also play single player worlds. So we can create new. And just, yeah, we'll just do this. It's going to be less laggy in a single player world because of the, um, well, there's not going to be as many entities. And see, it's, it's given a sec to load. And, yeah. So it'll be, it gets very playable after a sec. See how, like, it's a little bit less laggy now. And also, it's, it might be because I'm also screen recording. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much Minecraft for you. And that's how you install onto a Chromebook. And it, it's I think it's very playable, in my opinion. It's very good for a Chromebook, because most times you can't play that much on a Chromebook. But uh, that's how you do it. Also, last thing I will say, it is cross-compatible with PC and Mac players you know, on servers and stuff. So don't worry about that. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and bye.